Number 34. A 20 meter tall hollow aluminum flagpole is equivalent in stiffness to a solid cylinder 4 centimeters in diameter. A strong wind bends the pole uh, much as a horizontal force of 900 newtons exerted at the top would. How far to the side uh, does the top of the pole flex? All right, so here I have a little picture down here at the bottom. Here's a 900 newton force wind. Here's the 20 uh, meter pole. And essentially what's gonna happen is this pole is gonna bend some amount. And this amount right here can be represented as our change in X, okay? This is a shear force problem. Why? Because the force being applied is perpendicular to the length of this object, right? It's perpendicular to the length, okay? And it's parallel to the cross section. All right, so knowing that, I know I'm dealing with my shear force formula, which would be this one right here on the uh, right-hand side, all right? So taking that into account, let's write it down. So the, uh, the uh, shear force should be equal to the shear modulus times the change in the x uh, displacement of it uh, divided by the initial length of the object multiplied by the cross-sectional area. So the force, the, excuse me, the force that is being applied is 900 newtons. The shear modulus here, they told us it's similar to a solid uh, cylinder. I, I'm going to assume a solid, sil um, a solid cylinder of aluminum. All right, that's here at the top, and it has a value of 25 times 10 to the 9. So we have 25 times 10 to the 9 times the change in x, which is what we're looking for, divided by the initial length. The, the initial length, by the way, is the overall length. They told us it's 20 meters, right? tall and the cross-sectional area. Remember that this is a pole, so therefore its cross-section is circular, and they told us that the diameter of this circle is going to be four centimeters. Four centimeters. So what's the radius then? Well, it's going to be two, right? And I need to know that because again, how do I calculate the area of a circle? It's simple, pi r squared, okay? So the area here is going to be pi times not two, because that's two centimeters, but 0 0.02, right? That's the value of two centimeters in meters. All right, just divide two by 100 and that's how you'll get to 0 0.02. Square that result. And now let's just simply take pi, multiply by 0 0.02 squared. And we get a value of 1.26, 1 1.26 times, times 10 raised to the three, negative three that is, a meter squared. So this is the cross-sectional area, so plug that in now. 1.26 times 10 to the minus 3. Okay, clean it up. So let's combine some terms here. So we've got 25 times 10 to the 9 times 1.26 times 10 to the minus 3. Divide that by 20. And we get a value of 1.58 times 10 to the 3. Four, five, six, six, multiply by delta x. So now divide out the 1.58, right, times 10 to the sixth, times 10 to the sixth. So the change in the x displacement here will simply be 900 divided by 1.58 times 10 to the sixth. And we get a value of 5.70 times 10 to the minus, 10 to the minus four meters. That's how much it would bend by. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. That would be awesome. And I look forward to helping you with the next question. Take care now. Bye.